So here's the deal. I'm listening to you to complain about what you think is and isn't your rights. But what I'm hearing you doing is manipulating the facts in every way. Because I've been paying attention to what you do. I've been paying attention to what you say. I've been really thoroughly listening to your story in every way. And what I'm hearing you do is say and admit and demonstrate that you are lying to yourself about your rights. And you feel you have the rights to a person who is no longer in your life or was never in your life officially welcomed by that person. You see, your lies is thinking, I've got rights to you. Your lies is thinking, my company wants me to do this. Your lies is thinking your family is okay to be included in this. And your lies was grouping your family to abuse someone who's allegedly a part of your family. If they're not a part of your family, or if the person doesn't consider you family, even though you might have a bloodline to them in some portion of time, I have to ask you, what does that look like to society that might hear about what you've done in notoriety, which we all know is a word that means ill-gotten and ill-behavior publicly, publicly produced information. You see, a liar always wants to win because he thinks he can. But a liar is always a player and wants to screw people to win. A liar is still a liar. So what is your lie today? What do you have in your family? What do you have in your friends network? What do you have in your information gathering that came by honest, truthful relationships? And what came by your inappropriate, ill-gotten behavior? Did you open up someone's bank account without your the full consent of the actual person whose name's on the account? Did you go into someone's house and steal property from them that didn't belong to you because you were gifted a key and entrusted with an emergency situation? Did you destroy your relationship by constantly insulting someone? You see, that's on you, and you feel entitled to do it. But it still demonstrates who you are to anyone reading the statements that you're texting, hearing the voice messages that you're leaving, and misjudging the tone in that you're receiving. It's not a misjudged tone if you've been abusing someone's rights. You see, your rights to your life belong solely to your life. And if you have some financial responsibilities or management duties to someone else, then that's okay. But if you don't have management responsibilities to the person that person has promised you, then that's not okay. I don't have to keep disclosing the truth that we've got families in America that lie, steal, and cheat other family members out of their human rights, their dignity rights, their privacy rights, their medical rights, their financial rights, their bequeathment rights, their inheritance rights.